was two years old, she accidentally stand on a nail, nail, and got seriously injured. And she screamed out loud when her parents tried to do the first act to stop the bleeding. And she felt so painful and lie on the bed. And she still remember that the ray of uh, shine from the light was the only thing that comforted her during the process. Listening to Charlotte's speech is always delightful. You can see that she projected her sincerity and her passion toward her speech, and she's really well prepared. First of all, she, uh, I would like to remind her is that she used a very special title, which is Uno Appetito. <laughs> it's Italian, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you can hear it more often in French, which is Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. In Chinese, we say Qing Xiang Yong. <laughs> so you will know that her speech is about food and restaurant. And she started her speech like asking the audience to close their eyes and imagine that you are starving right now and you want to find a great restaurant to feed yourself. And then she starts her men. Um, contents, which is when you choose the restaurants, you will face some dilemma, and especially when your wallet is empty and uh, you didn't know what to choose, and you even choose the the worst food in the restaurant. So she shared her experience and make it as an entertaining speech. Not to mention the other things that I admire her is that. She always speak with confidence, and she project her sincerity and also a conviction, and she speak without notes. Everything seems so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I still have some suggestions for her. The first thing is that her opening is to ask the audience to close their eyes and imagine. Somehow she, I don't know, <laughs> she forgot <laughs> to remind the audience to open their eyes. <laughs> to, for example, to stand up or to close the eyes or do something else, don't forget to remind them to do whatever they, they were doing. <laughs> and the other thing is about the conclusion, which is the closing. I think your con conclusion is too short and all of it in a sudden. Well, my suggestion for you is like, you can ask the audience to close the eyes. <laughs> Time is kind of late, so maybe some of them, some of the audience, get hungry. So you can recall the memory of the food, nice food, and the good atmosphere when you sitting in a good restaurant. I think that will be more echo to your speech title. So that's my suggestion for you. General evaluation. <laughs>